a civil war brewing inside Chicago's Cook County Jail. Two opposing factions of the gangster disciples are fighting for control of their organization. Ali, just a quick one. Investigators Drake Carpenter and Adrian Sandoval want to stop them before the conflict turns violent. They've identified 26 senior members of the gangster disciples, either in power or trying to take over. A lot of times until one person from the street comes in that's heavy enough that says, hey, listen, this is what it is, and both sides agree, then there's going to be violence, and people here can lose their lives. County is already a pressure cooker of rival gangs from all parts of the city living under one roof. Tap me up, man. 37, A-B-E, 37 Indiana, Burr Street, New Burr. You got the Ambrose, 18th Street, you got the eyes right above the eye. Gang members make up more than 70% of the compound's 10,000 inmates at any given time. Most detainees here are being held for trial as they've been charged but not convicted of crimes. Uh, hey, you still got some money on that? It's up to correction staff and the Criminal Intelligence Unit, or CIU, to try to keep a lid on potential conflicts. It's controlled chaos all the way from receiving to the max buildings. You have 40, 50 guys on one tier that are killing each other out on the streets and you expect them to get along. You can't just get over stuff like that. You know, somebody try to pull a, a fast one, you know what I'm saying, a slick one on me. You know, try to bust me in the head with a tray. He got me, he got me, but I got you. I got him good. Yeah, I stabbed him. Good daddy, you know what's up. Green killer. Sandoval and Carpenter are bracing themselves for a long, tense summer. Not only are they keeping a close eye on the gangster disciples and their feud, but also on other groups that present a high threat of violence. Today, they're meeting with one of county's most notorious detainees. He's the leader of a fringe gang, and he's made powerful enemies throughout the compound. This inmate, named Antoine, is facing trial for murder and claims he's innocent. He recently survived an attempt on his life by the gangster disciples. Antoine himself had belonged to the gangster disciples until he broke off to form a renegade group behind bars. They started with the whole tier. 40 guys, we don't answer anybody, we're on our own, we just stick up for each other and that's it. And from there, they went to other tiers and it was almost like a cancer was spreading. You just got a group of individuals that don't want to participate in the GDs. Our mission was this, to get the people that's in the gang, to take them out the gang, and get them to realize that their gang is dead. We're not going to let the GDs come and tell us, look, this is what you're going to do. I don't get on count. Why should I get on count and pay you dues every week? Well, that's like you paying for protection. I don't need nobody to protect me. I'm a grown-ass man. He was a big voice. He was a big threat. So... You know, he's, he's made a name for himself. He feels like he's somewhat of a legend in here. Although his reign is coming to an end real fast now, but they were pretty strong for a time. Antoine and his crew, who have a reputation for violence, became known as ATG, or Against the Grain. They stirred up turmoil inside the jail, but ultimately, their rivals outnumbered them. They really try and, like, wipe us out. When the genie's in the sink, what my mission was, they was like, he disrupting organization unity. So, therefore, kill this bitch. I'm like the Osama bin Laden of Cook County. That's why I am. For real. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> I had so many people saying, oh, we gonna kill Antoine Simmons. If he gonna kill me, I would have been dead. I have been here four years, seven months. And I, I ain't dead. I had eight fights. And the only thing I did was get slashed with a razor a couple of times and stabbed. That ain't nothing. If I got the knife in my hand, they ass in trouble. For real. He was attacked recently. About eight or ten guys tried to jump on him. They didn't do a lot of damage, so now it's like a badge of honor for him. So he's kind of feeling himself even a little bit more right now. They ain't gonna fight me one on one. You know they ain't gonna fight me one on one, so they gonna play with the knives. Here. I ain't with this. I just move me out this county, man, because somebody gonna get hurt, man. Somebody gonna end up dead, man. We're working on it. 
Antoine is lobbying to move to another jail outside of Cook County, where he won't be a high-profile target and he'll have more freedom. Since the latest attempt on his life, he's been confined to a supermax tier. He's housed alone, he's out in the day room alone, he showers alone, he goes to court under special escort. Any movement he has is gonna be handcuffed, shackles at all times. It's just a threat level we need to adhere to for his, for his own protection. If I could put you on the moon right now, that's where your ass would go. Anywhere is better than here. Bottom line, it's still our job to make sure that he finishes his case, that the sentence is conducted, and then he goes to the state or he goes home. So the entire time, he's like our baby right now. So if you act up, we still got to look out for you. But Sandoval and Carpenter haven't heard the last from Antoine or his followers. Before the summer is over, Antoine and his crew will prove they're still a force to be reckoned with. And they'll add fuel to the fire of a civil war that's dividing the gangster disciples. People are smelling that blood in the water right now. It's inevitable. There's going to be some kind of retaliation.